Hello guys, I hope everybody is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing about types of problem where we are going to discuss uh, decidable and undecidable problems. Apart from that, we will be also be discussing the undecidability for a Turing machine in the form of in the form of a halting problem in Turing machine. So let's just discuss about uh, decidable and undecidable problems. Uh, but first of all, we are going to categorize uh, problems into two parts. There are some problems which are solvable and there are some problems which are not solvable. So we are just uh, going to discuss about solvable problems because we are not dealing with unsolvable problems. Nobody deals with that. So we talk about uh, solvable problems. So there are two types of uh, solvable problems, which is uh, a decidable problem and one is known as undecidable problem so guys very very simple decidable problems are the problems which are having any kind of algorithm or procedure to solve the particular problem like for an example we are talking about all sorting techniques like bubble sort quick sorts merge sorts all the sorting insertion sorts so all sorting techniques everything which is solvable and which we have a particular algorithm it and importantly we can calculate time complexity means uh, the problem is going to be solved in finite amount of time it means we can easily solve it by a particular algorithm which has a particular procedure when i talk about undecidable problems so one thing very very important thing that you need to understand is that here time is not certain if the time is not certain over here, it means uh, there will not be any algorithm, no algorithm uh, to solve a particular problem. The time is not a particular certain. So best example I can give you is that that yeah, I want to clear any exam, any exam, whether it is gate exam, whether it is SSE exam, any any kind of exam. But I want to clear that exam with rank three. So guys, this is something, it is definitely solvable. We can achieve rank three, but is it certain? Uh, is the time certain or is there any kind of procedure that will get me to rank three? Nobody desires that. So these are the kind of problems which are known as undecidable problem. So I'll quickly go to the undecidability in Turing machine with halting problem. So what is halting problem? Halting problem or it is a problem of undecidability. See simply whenever there is, there is any problem which is given to you. So we have to find out whether that problem is solvable in finite amount of steps. Let's say if I'm talking about a Turing machine. So if I'm talking about Turing machine and W is a string we have to find out whether this string is accepted or rejected but i have to find this string in accept even if it is accepted in finite amount of steps from the problem we cannot judge whether it can be t it, it can take finite amount of steps to get the string accepted or get the string rejected so this is something which is undecidable we cannot decide from the very first start whether this string will be accepted or it will be rejected why because for that we need to go through procedure to find whether it can be accepted or it can be rejected. So that is what undecidability in Turing machine and what is halting problem? Halting problem is whether it is possible. It is possible. To tell. Whether. A machine. Will halt after 
एक्सेप्टेड फॉर अ गिवन इनपुट अगेन सो इट मीन्स वेदर वी विल स्टॉप एट अ पर्टिकुलर फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर इनपुट वेदर सी द मशीन इज देयर मशीन कैन एक्सेप्ट सर्टन इनपुट इट कैन रिजेक्ट सर्टन इनपुट बट वी हैव टू फाइंड इन फाइनाइट स्टेप वी हैव टू ऑब्वियसली फाइंड इन फाइनाइट स्टेप विदाउट फाइनाइट स्टेप I cannot judge a machine will accept or it will reject. So that is what we have to understand. For a Turing machine, it can produce yes or it can produce no if the string is accepted or it can give us rejected if it is not accepting. so this is what we need to understand in a halting problem if the halting machine finishes in if it performs a task in finite amount of time output comes to be yes but if it is not performing output comes out to be no so what is the problem here the problem is we cannot decide from the very first instance whether it will accept and halt or whether it will reject or halt and there are three kind of scenarios for machine to accept whether it is a uh, uh, producing yes for finiting and it will ha it's halting for a particular time whether it produces no or it is halting for a particular time or it will go to infinite loop but from the very first part i cannot decide so if if i cannot decide it is a clear problem of undecidable problem so this is what uh, your halting problem of turing machine is all about so over here halting means you basically terminate if i uh, if, if it is not producing on that particular output it will also terminate even if but it should not go to infinite loop so it means when any program is given to us we cannot decide from the very start whether it will terminate or it it will halt it will accept the particular answer and halt it is rejecting that particular answer or number of steps i cannot decide how many number of steps that it will take to solve a problem we have to solve it from our own so there should be a procedure for this if there is an algorithm and procedure it becomes decidable but there is no algorithm procedure to find out how many number of steps that it is going to take so again this is how your halting problem of turing machine is all about so thank you very very much if there is any doubt you can always post in comment section thank you